All right, so is this a point to point or is this just one lap? I, I can't really tell. Well, I feel like I'm going slow. Uh oh. 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 Oh, crap. Oh, why? Wait. Wait. Why is this? Wait, should I even hit the gas? Oh, I need to switch cameras here. I can't see. I can't see. Switch cameras. Oh, no. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, this is gonna hurt. All right, let's go. Oh. Hey, look, traffic. Oh. How would you like to be driving around in traffic and then have this glowing car just land right beside you? Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bring you guys another episode of Beam and G Drive. And folks, we are back with a bonus episode because there has been a brand new update to Beam and G Drive. So we're gonna click the play button here and we're gonna see two things here. We're gonna see the light runner and we're gonna see the track builder. I'm assuming the track builder, which I thought they had pieces of this kind of ready to go, but maybe it's a full blown mode now. But that's a thing, and this light runner is basically tracks that you can build with the track builder. Now, the light runner is some sort of Tron style city, and it's absolutely insane looking, so. It's gonna be a little bit of a different episode. We're gonna be doing some trolls here. It's called Glow City, and I'm super excited for this. So this is a bonus episode. We will still have our normal Beam and G police chases on the weekend, but I wanted to try this out real quick. So we're gonna jump right into it. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. And if you're enjoying Beam and G on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's jump into this. Oh no, look at these layouts. Uh, okay, so you can create this in the track creator? That's pretty insane looking. So, uh, I think we're just gonna try one here. We've got lights car, that looks pretty cool. Uh, neon cords, you know what, let's go with the uh, nosedive here. And it looks like it's got a pretty insane either drop or incline, so we're gonna need something fast. I think we'll go with the, uh, the vehicle here. So one more thing to point out, there's new versions of the vehicles. I kind of hope we can still use these outside of this mode. Uh, they're called the Power Glow versions of the vehicle. I don't know if there's any different attributes to them or if maybe they just glow. <laughs> I'm not really sure. So uh, we're going to use this one here. All right, here we go. Glow City. What the heck? This is like some Tron slash F-Zero stuff. Oh, this is insane looking. Look at that drop. Okay, this is like a very new thing to see in Beam and G. I'm excited for this. So let's go ahead and get moving. All right, so is this a point to point or is this just one lap? I, I can't really tell. Oh, I feel like I'm going slow. Uh oh. 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 Oh, crap. Oh, why? Wait. <laughs> Wait. Why is this? Wait, should I even hit the gas? Oh, I need to switch cameras here. I can't see. I can't see. Switch cameras. Oh, no. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, do you hear the wind effects? Is that ever, wait, has that always been a thing? Oh, this is gonna hurt. All right, let's go. Oh, hey, look, traffic. Oh, how would you like to be driving around in traffic and then have this glowing car just land right beside you? That was amazing. Okay, we know we need to go on the hood cam. All right, so let's go ahead, get this started once again. All right, onboard hood cam. Is there... Okay, so I'm assuming this is not a lap thing. This is a point-to-point. -point. Okay, you really don't need to hit the gas. Oh, you're getting sideways. Okay. All right, I am using a little bit of gas here because I want to carry speed. This is all about a time trial. Wait, is that more track down there? Oh, this is so incredible looking. Uh oh, am I going to blow the motor? Uh, should... Oh, oh, that... Okay, yep, we blew the motor. Uh, am I supposed to roll the rest of the way or what? Ah! <laughs> ah, what the heck? Hon, where's the end? Wait, there's a checkpoint. Um, okay, so you can blow the motor going down that. I made it to a checkpoint, though. There's, that's a thing. All right, so no hitting the gas at all going down that. Gotcha. All right, I'm going to tap the brakes. I don't want to hit the brakes while it's turning. It'll probably spin it around. Okay, I got to hit the brakes a little bit. Uh, okay, we're rolling. This is so insane. Okay, I think I blew it right around 250. Oh, I'm trying to hit the brakes a little bit. Just a wee bit. Don't blow the motor. All right, I think we might make it, folks. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is cool. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yes, we made it. Okay. All right, so now I can get to the gas. Wait, what's that sound? Uh, oh, no, I think that's actually just the car. Uh, I don't think it's blowing up. 
Or is it? I can't tell. All right, can I go wide open through here? This is so cool. Oh man, I really want to be able to put AI on this though. Uh, this would be some incredible racing. All right, slide off a little bit, get in the gas. All right, you can see my throttle indicator down in the bottom left if you're curious as to what I'm doing there. What does blue mean? Does this change? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, man. All right, back into the gas. This is so cool. I like these vehicles, too. I wish they were a bit brighter, but it does really give you that Tron vibe. Uh, let's see. That looks like a pretty steep corner up here. All right, uh, get back in the gas. Uh, man, some of this banking is insane. It almost looks like you would slip off of it. Oh, is that a jump? Oh, that might be the finish right there. Okay. Keep it wide open. Keep your foot in it. Don't get thrown off the track. Here we go. Yes. Wait, where are we going? Uh, was that the finish? Uh, hold on. Oh, yes, it was. Yay. Uh, do I, can I see anybody else's times? I got a 142. Uh, maybe, I guess just for that vehicle. Hold on, single lap, total time. I really hope that loads. I'd like to see some times compared to other people. I guess the update's pretty new. Oh, that was awesome. That's, uh, that gets your heart pumping. That's cool. All right. Well, there is a free roam, but I don't think, I think there's too many different routes here. It's got to load up each new route. Uh, let's go back to the menu. All right. So, nosedive is insane. Let's go to something else. Sky Unlimited. I can see the moon in that. All right, here we are at the Sky Unlimited course. I really like the way this thing looks. Can we change the colors on these? I bet you we can. Maybe the glow colors. All right, so, you know, we might look at the track editor just to see kind of what it is, because maybe it's something that we can do. Uh, but first, I want to continue doing this because this is so cool looking. All right, so Sky Unlimited. I didn't even check to see if this was a hard one. Uh, I don't see any barriers, so I know we can fly off the track. All right, let's just keep it wide open here. Dude, just look at that view. Oh, that's cool. Oh, you can make like Hot Wheels tracks and stuff like that. Dude, that is awesome. I just have to, oh, that's a loop. Oh, that's, oh, that's definitely a loop. All right, well, that's gonna be fun. All right, let's keep her wide open here. This is amazing. Uh, I'm wide open the whole way. Oh, crud, oh, no, I saved it. Oh, I thought we were gone there. Oh, are you serious? Oh, we were like a missile here. All right, so you're definitely wide open. That was definitely a, a loss of control on my part. Maybe a, a lack of judgment. Hey, but at least you die instantly when you hit the ground. So there's positives. Yay. All right, here we are. Full speed once again. You know, maybe since we're doing a loop, it's probably a good idea to do this from the hood. So here we go. Uh, I don't know if this is better or worse for me. No, this actually feels pretty good. You know, we need to try this game with a, uh, a steering wheel. I've got a Thrustmaster wheel that I would love to see. Maybe some rally or something uh, would be ideal. All right, here we go. Over this, wide open. Oh, that yeah, that's good. Okay, so, oh, here we go. Here we go, loop time. Loop time. Oh, we did it. Oh, that was cool. I'm actually clinching a little bit watching this. All right, we're gonna get thrown back into the banking here. This track is not too bad so far. Uh, I know that, yeah, you can like fly right off of it, but it's wide open. There's like no adjusting, uh, except for maybe right here. This is gonna be really odd transition back. Oh, oh, the car got really light there. I could feel it. Oh, almost lost it. Okay, that's good. All right, so where's the end of the lap at? Is it up here? I think it's, is it that? No, we're going back through the loop. Okay, so boom. All right, that was a lap there. Now we're uh, we're up to speed, so let's see if we can get a, a record pace here. I'm wide open, so it's gonna be all about your actual track positioning and trying to make it as short a track as possible. So I'm gonna push it here, wide open, no lifting. I'm gonna try to hug the corners. All right, coming over the loop again. Uh, oh, 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 you can hear the car getting light there. All right, so we're almost through. I mean, we're definitely faster now. Uh, question is, how much faster are we gonna be? 
uh, because we're coming to the start. Well, we passed the start finish line at full speed, so uh, let's see. Almost there. A couple more corners. All right. Let's go hug the inside here. Yeah, you don't even scrub off speed whenever you hug the inside. Like, there's... Yeah, it's definitely, I think, the uh, optimal way around here. And here we go. Uh, about nine seconds. No, ten seconds faster. Ten point one. Yes! That was cool. Uh, I really want to start seeing some leaderboards here. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. All right, let's go to another configuration here. All right, so we're going to do one more of these, and then I am going to open up the track editor. So we've got the neon course here. Uh, let's go back. I don't want to use the Moonhawk. I know it's heavy. I'm just, no. We'll use this one over here. All right, so let's see what this thing's got here. All right. Oh, boy. That is a loop that goes around this. Oh, this is going to be perfect. All right, one more time trial, and then we'll go look at the map editor and call it a day here. All right, so, oh, no. Is this thing, oh, it shoots back this way. Oh boy, okay, this is kind of cool. This uh, doesn't have the most grip. I kind of need some of that banking there to rest on. Oh, now this is a cool track. I like these, oh, are you serious? I was admiring the tunnels, and I was like, man, those are cool tunnels, and then I ran into the tunnel. Nice. All right, here we go once again. Let's try not to eat it this time. Okay, we're gonna let off a bit. Just gonna shoot around there. All right, now it's a... Uh, Feeling a bit better. We're gonna let off here because we gotta let the banking catch us. All right, and gas up. Let's try not to meet Mr. Tunnel. All right, so we made it through that one. Oh boy. Oh, this one's pretty cool. See, I like the tracks that have a bit more banking. Oh, here comes the loop. Loop, loop, loop. Oh, the camera, the camera. Oh, we really should be in first person for this. All right, keep her wide open here. Uh, looking good. I think we're actually circling a building right now. That is insane looking. All right, keep it wound up. Oh, no, no, no. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, we barely made it out of that. All right, let's keep it, keep it open here. I really wish the AI would go on this. This would make for incredible races and crashes. Okay, there was a lap there. Okay, so we know how to get around this now, except for the whole fact that we just popped a tire. All right, so I think we should go for a speed lap there. That was, what, a 59-second lap? All right, let's try to get one a little faster. All right, we are going to be on the hood cam for this. Here we go. This first portion is a little tricky, especially when you come back around for it. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Actually, I don't know if I like this better in first person or not. Ah. <laughs> Oh, man, you've got to be good with colors, too, because uh, some people, they can't take staring at a screen with all these different neon colors and the blacks, the brights. Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay, here we go. Looking good so far. We are nailing it right now. I really want to try this with the steering wheel. So I'm kind of curious how either good or bad I would be. Uh, maybe we'll do that for a video here soon. Uh, okay, so, oop, 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 there we go. All right, we're doing it pretty good right now. Looking for that green. The green's up there. Okay, there's one lap, and he let off here, because this is where we blew out our tire last time. All right. Oh, are you serious? I was still going too fast there. I skidded over the track. We were about almost, what, right around three seconds faster? I feel like we could be even a little bit faster if we could actually get through the first lap onto the second one. I'm going to attempt it one more time. Uh, we'll skip forward to me coming around, hopefully to the start-finish line to do the speed lap. All right, here we go. Speed lap time. I really got to let off through here. Man, I don't know if it's really that much faster going through there like that, opposed to doing it off the start here. So we got to make up some time. I'm going to really push it through here. All right, come on, come on. Wide open. I'm going to try to stay pretty much wide open the rest of the track here. We're going for speed. This is so exciting. I like doing this a lot. All right, here we go. Uh, pretty good speed so far. Feel good. We can hit that uh, start finish line wide open this time because we know it's the end of the lap. Uh, you know, I don't think I'm going to actually have to go back down into turn one, so I don't need to slam on my brakes there to get ready for that. So wide open. I lost a little bit of time, I felt like. All right. 
Boom! 50s, uh, let's say it's a 51. Not bad. Uh, definitely faster than the previous attempts. So, total time, 148. Not bad. I actually think we did decent. And I'm just going to say decent because I'm sure there's plenty other faster people. All right, let's go look at the track editor real quick. All right, so the last thing that's in the update, you have a track builder. Now, if it's like an easy, like a, a five-year-old can do it, I think I might have this. But if it's not, it might take me a little bit to figure out. I'm hoping it's like a bunch of snapping piece. Oh, are you kidding me? Is it really like this? Oh, wait, can we? Uh, I wonder if we can do it in any other settings, can we? There's probably, a, I'm pretty sure there actually is a tutorial somewhere. Track settings, align, okay, cameras. Oh, this is pretty deep. Uh, modifiers, banking on the corners. Okay, so here's where our vehicle is. Checkpoints, walls and ceiling, obstacles. Uh, what do we have here? Cubes, bumps, ramps. So there's quite a bit in here. Okay, so how do we... Oh, did I actually spawn a cube? Oh, dang. How did I get rid of the cube? Not really sure yet. Uh, are these node points or can I grab onto these? I don't know, let's start playing around here. I just want to do a couple things. Select next piece. So if the next piece, okay, that's with the camera, okay. Advanced pieces, so, okay, there's your forward. So it's as simple as that, are you serious? Oh, if they kind of give you, I would like a different setting. I don't think I always stare at Glow City, but look at that. So we can make like a basic oval, I think. So let's keep going, boom, boom, boom. So we can do it like that, but we should be able to like, uh oh, uh, what happens when we do that on uh, trash? So we should be able to like adjust stuff though. We should be able to make like potentially, I would assume, oh, I'm still screwing this up. So yeah, I would assume that we could still do other things like the bumps and stuff like that. So I can make the height go up. So can I, oh, oh, we'd adjust it for all the pieces. So look at that. So this side is now higher than that side. Oh, this is going to be cool. Like, knowing me, I'm just going to build, like, basic ovals. But, no, I like this a whole lot. Okay, so let's go back to this. All right, so we can go... How do I just do it where I make this piece go down? Uh, is there a way to just do it with one piece of track? I'm going to have to watch some of the tutorials. Okay, so there it goes. So it seems like you can select multiple pieces and adjust the height. Or you can just do the one piece like this. That is actually a little easier than I thought it was going to be to use. I I don't hate this. And that's that's saying a lot. A lot of times I don't like editors in games. Uh, this is pretty, pretty intuitive. So we can go around here. Do they have like an auto finish? What's that? Close track. Does that like close it automatically? There's a lot of games where if they do have like a track builder, you can click a button and it'll find its way back to the uh, to the finish line there. I don't know if that's a thing here. I might need that. I'd probably get so confused about where I am. Uh, let's see. Boom. What if I hit close track? Oh, it does. Oh, look at that transition, though. That's perfect. Yeah, you just kind of hop over the curve and fall to your death. Nice. So you can put walls on here, obstacles, material editor. Okay, so you can change the colors. Uh, is there just like a test drive portion? Change track shape. Paint materials. I like this. I like this a whole lot. All right, so we can test this. Or actually, let's just go to drive. All right, so cool. I can drive the the hunk of crap track I made. That that's actually really awesome. Now, if we could just get like a plain setting, like a grass field or something in normal roads, uh, I picture I would be in this a little bit more. Oh, here we go. Big bump. Big bump. Oh yeah, yeah. Totally just didn't didn't rip the front bumper off. No, it's, it's fine. It's just a little ding. That's neat. Okay, so here comes my impossible start-finish line up here. Uh, we're going to hop that. <laughs> yep, that's a little uneven, and there's a wall there. That's still good nonetheless. Oh, boy. All right, I might have some fun with that. But anyways, that is the update. Pretty cool stuff here in the BeamNG uh, world. I like what I'm seeing. I like the track editor. I would just like to see a couple different settings because uh, I like the Dark City, but I don't want to use it for everything. I would actually really, really like to build like a traditional track, like a racetrack. That would be very cool to me. 
And then maybe if we can make it like dirt and stuff like that. Oh, yes, that would be awesome. Now, another thing I would be curious about, could we make it to where it would path the AI? Is there a thing that we can do to maybe show them how to corner and stuff? Uh, yeah, if they start adding stuff like this, uh, you're going to see a lot of Beam and G on the channel because I'm going to have a lot of fun with that. But anyways, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Beam and G. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this update. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. And that's going to wrap it up, and we'll see you guys next time.